Hi, this is Miss Delosier, and these are some super quick notes on density of water and its biological importance. So density, I hope everyone remembers, is a measure of how um, physically close molecules are together in a substance, basically how compacted matter is. Uh, mathematically, density is the mass of an object divided by the volume, so how squished together everything is. Normally, a solid is very dense, gas is not very dense, and a liquid is somewhere in between. Water is special because water is less dense when it is frozen as a solid than when it is a liquid. So um, that means that it's actually expanding when it is frozen. Uh, specifically, water is most dense at 4 degrees Celsius, and then at 0 degrees Celsius, it becomes less dense. It expands. So let's actually look at molecularly what's happening. So I'm going to have my solid and my liquid. So I'm going to draw in my water molecules for my solid. When water actually freezes, what happens is as you remove the kinetic energy, um, the heat from the water, as the, the heat leaves the water, as it cools down, what happens is those molecules actually slow down and they form a lattice work. And so then you're going to get hydrogen bonding forming between them and holding them in that lattice work. So it becomes actually more expansive, more rigid than it is as a liquid. So um, that's, my, that's my ice, right? As a liquid, those molecules still flow past one another. There's still movement. The hydrogen bonds aren't as rigid, they're not as structured, it's not a lattice work. So I have, there's, it's much more dense. So you can see from these pictures that the liquid is more dense, the liquid water is more dense, the solid is less dense, which means if I put my ice into my liquid water, the ice will be floating on top of the liquid water. And anyone who's ever had a glass of ice water knows that, that the ice floats. So what does that mean biologically? What's the significance of that? Well, the significance of that is that bodies of water don't freeze solid. That's really the main significance. Um, Lake Louisville is not going to freeze solid. Uh, so all of the things that live in Lake Louisville are not going to suddenly become a giant fish and pollution popsicle. Um, ice floats. And because it floats, it's going to form an insulating layer that is going to protect the ecosystem from the colder air. So let me draw you a picture of that. So I've got my lake um, and I'm gonna go ahead and have the water in the lake above freezing, but I'm gonna have the, the air outside of the lake below freezing. What, what's gonna happen is thermodynamic says, that the, the heat is going to move from the warmer water to the colder air. So as the heat leaves, as the heat leaves the warmer water and goes into the colder air, what you're going to have happening is you're going to have ice forming. Um, so you're going to form a layer of ice along the top of the lake. Now, uh, the colder it is, the longer it's cold, the thicker that layer of ice is. But what's going to happen is you're going to have your ice floating at the top. And then as you get deeper, farther away from that air, it's going to warm up because the rest of that lake is touching the ground and the ground is warmer. So the, the ice layer is kind of going to act um, like the lid of a cooler. It's going to keep that air that's really cold from affecting those deeper waters. And what we, what we do is we form a gradient, a heat gradient, and that's called a thermocline um, so I'm going to have my thermocline going from zero degrees to well above freezing, um, and that's going to protect the, uh, the aquatic ecosystem of whatever body of water we're talking about. That's really it uh, for the density of water. Uh, I hope that helps. We will talk a little bit more about the density of water and uh, freezing of water when we start looking at um, why you can or cannot lower the body temperature of certain organisms and what happens if you actually start freezing the water inside of blood vessels. But that's kind of going to be an aside. If you have any questions, come on and see me.